on the issue. I didn't have these um, under the actual class as they were supposed to be. Um, very stupid mistake by me. Um, so I, yeah, if there's a pause in the video, now you know why there's a sudden break in the video. Let's save that. There we go. And so I'll bring that over here and show you what that looks like. Um, and so now we have basically uh, the form to send an email. Uh, now we just have to set up the back end so that the uh, email can actually be sent uh, because without the server, uh, it will just, you know, you're hitting a, a blank button essentially. Nothing's happening. So yeah, so now we'll create our server. Um, so we'll create a new folder called server. Alrighty. Um, and so I do expect you guys to have uh, something called Nodemon installed. You can just uh, install that globally. I will include a link uh, for the NPM package of Nodemon. So I'm opening this up. So yeah. Alrighty, so we'll go to our to our server. Uh, we'll create a new file. Call it index.js. And so now we're gonna want to install some packages. Um, and we'll say yarn add um, express, which is the uh, you know a requirement to actually have the server set up. Uh, we'll have cores, which uh, like blocks like um, what the browser restrictions, uh, and then we'll have at sendgrid dash mail. And so those are our required packages. Uh, like again, again though, I did say you should have NodeMon installed globally already. And so as that's All right, so now we have everything installed, I believe. So now let's create some uh, constants. We'll call this const express is equal to require. Express. Now we'll have comments, of course, for what everything is doing in the GitHub repository. We'll call this constant cores. And we'll call this require cores. All right, and then constant and grid mail is equal to require at send grid mail. All right, so now we want to create an uh, basically an alias for the express method. So we'll call this app is equal to express, and we'll close that. Alrighty, and then you're gonna to want to have a SendGrid API key. Um, I will not show you guys mine, but I'll just you know put put this in just for a filler so that you guys understand. So yeah, make sure you, you have your SendGrid API key in between these quotes right here. Uh, your SendGrid API key usually starts with a capital SG and then period and then some random uh, characters essentially. Um, Alrighty, the next thing we're gonna to want to do is we're gonna to want to use uh, cores on the express or the app uh, variable. Uh, what that does is restricts or gets rid of the browser restrictions uh, that you know SendGrid is uh, so um, caring of. They you know they're they're an emailing platform, so they care a lot when it comes to uh, making sure everything's secure and uh, people aren't spamming uh, other people with their uh, API keys. So yeah, cores essentially just gets rid of uh, that restriction. Without it, you won't actually be able to send uh, your email with SendGrid. So yeah, we want to call this a variable cores. So I have that use cores. All right. So let's create a welcome page. I'll call this welcome page. Um, and this will be when you search up our uh, app.get. 
people or when you type in uh, the server URL, uh, this will just be the root root file. All right, so we'll call that blank. Create a function request result, an arrow function, of course, um, and then result dot send. Just a message so that you're you know uh, this server is running. Welcome to the send grid email server. Um, oh yeah, and then of course we have to require uh, app.listen, which is required for app.listen, is required for the port when you search up like localhost, what port it's running on. So we'll call it 4000, since 3000 is already being taken up by our uh, React server. Create an arrow function, and we'll just console that log saying, hey, well, this is running on port 4000. 4, yeah, we can actually test this out now. Um, we'll CD into our server, um, and we'll say no non. Uh, index.js. All right, if something failed, just check it out. That's weird. One line index.js. Is there something already running on port 4000? Let me check if I already has something running on port 4000. Oh, I, I have something running on the 4000 server, so we have to change that port, call it 5, to say 5000, or this you will need one. Yeah. Right here, and we'll restart our node mod server. <clears throat> and the app still crashed. Hey, we must be missing something. Oh, I gotta save it. Of course, there we go. One eight one. Oh, it's still, still not running right. About four, five, six, seven. This shouldn't be as difficult as I'm making it. Of course, I like to make these videos so uh, somebody else out there doesn't have to struggle with finding how to. Uh, do these things as I did, you know, instead of taking days to complete something, it'll only take um, maybe an hour or something like that. Four, five, six, Four, five, six seven. All righty, well, let's bring that over here. So this shouldn't have been as difficult as I made it. Um, so yeah, welcome to the SendGrid email server. Um, we'll bring this back over here, and we'll actually create our code for uh, sending an email. Um, so now we have the welcome page. Let's actually make the emailing email page. So what, what we want to do is app dot get, um, and we want to make this make the directory the same as this over here and so we see uh, send email is our directory so we'll copy this right here and put that right there and we'll create the same thing the request so, alrighty um, so we're going to want to create uh, some variables from uh, the query string so these are like get variables essentially Query string. Um, so we'll create a few. So we'll call it recipient, sender, topic, and text is equal to request.query. Alrighty. And so here's some send grid requirements. This will be our message. So const message is equal to put 
two will be equal to uh, the recipient, of course. From will be equal to the sender, of course. Subject, topic. And text will be text. Alrighty. We got that. All right, now we actually want to send the email for share. So let's say we'll call this the send email. And what this does is email.send message. Um, then we're going to pass. Then let's see, this is we're just going to console out the message text headset. So console.log text. Alrighty. Yeah, now we have everything required to um, required to actually fill out the email form. So yeah, we're gonna copy this uh, port right here and place it into this port. Alrighty. So I believe everything should run smoothly. Um, we'll pull this over here. All right, so the recipient will be my main email at gmail.com, and then the sender will be my work email at askfavor.com, and then the subject will be um, send grid tutorial, and then our message will be hopefully. This worked. Alrighty. Nope. Oh, uh, whoops. I gotta fill out that API key. I forgot. So if we go back over here, I gotta fill out this API key right here, which I'll just hide. I'll put over here. actually open up a new window sorry about that wasn't as prepared as I thought I would be um, but yeah let me just copy this API key yeah so I've actually been the reason why they're so strict on the API key is I've actually been um, striked a few times uh, with my previous account and so I just created a new account recently and I want to make sure I don't get striked. Uh, the only way you can get striked is if you uh, leave, like if you expose your API key to the public and I accidentally like expose my API key in uh, my GitHub repository, which is not good at all. So you don't want to do something like that. So take care of your API key with SendGrid. Bring this back over here. All right, let's fill out our form. React app. Hopefully this works. Send email. I'm ready. Oh, I just got the email. Uh, so Solomon at sfever.com. I'll open up my Gmail in a separate thing. So yeah, we'll bring this over here. And as you can see, um, we just got that email from Solomon at askfavor.com. Uh, hopefully this worked and it worked. Uh, the, you see the subject is send tutorial, the recipient, Solomon at favor, and it's via sendgrid.net. Um, if you uh, didn't get it uh, in your main inbox, be sure to check your spam inbox as well. Uh, sometimes that happens with sendgrid uh, more often than not. Um, so yeah, that's how you send an email with SendGrid, uh, or send an email with SendGrid and as express a node as the back end and having React as your front end. Um, this is Solomon Antoine, and I am out.